Hi everyone, welcome back to Liz Sews. Today guys, I have for you my December sewing plans. Um, I had originally was thinking I was gonna take the month of December off from sewing. I've just been in a really weird place lately with sewing where it, it's starting to feel a little bit more like a chore and I have to like motivate myself to do it. But at the same time, once I start, I really enjoy it. But there's always that like, I've been having like that feeling that I just I just can't can't get over the hump to get started sewing. Um, however, I took a look at my fabric and I think I am gonna sew. So these are the things that I have tentatively planned um, for the month of December. So the first thing I have, which I definitely want to make, um, is McCall's seven one five four. Now I've had this pattern for quite some time now. I don't think it's going to be particularly flattering on me. Uh, it has sort of like a blousey top and then a more fitted um, bottom. And normally I find I like things that show off my waist a little bit. But it's just, it has such gorgeous details. Um, you can see here from the line drawings, the details on this dress are just absolutely stunning. It has cutouts in the front and the back and this sort of like swag on the hip and it's just, yeah, I want to make it. Um, so recently, I believe it was Closet Case Patterns did Sew Frosting, and I didn't take part in that challenge. Um, Sew Frosting, the intention was to just stop making practical things and make something that was completely superfluous and you didn't need and was fun and pretty and just frosting. Um, so I didn't participate, but I think I'm going to do it in the month of December and it's going to be my homage to frosting. Um, it's making this 1930s gown. Now I haven't got the fabric yet but I've ordered it and I will pop a picture up here for you. It's just this beautiful emerald green crepe de chine. Uh, in the past I've used crepe de chine, I've had some problems with it but I think I've, I've, I've been sewing now for a couple more years uh, so I think I can handle it. Um, been looking at lots of different tips and tricks to make sure that I don't get puckers but again like I said not sure this is going to be flattering but I just want to make it and if if it doesn't turn out fabulous that's okay because it's not like I have a gala to wear it to. The next thing is I am going to make you guys a tutorial for a cat shirt. Uh, I, I made a cat shirt for Uzi in October um, and most of you guys said you were interested in it so I'm going to make him another one in this sort of light blue fabric. I think it'll look pretty with his blue eyes and I will take you guys along with me as I'm making it um, to do a tutorial for making that cat shirt. I am going to shoot to have that up in the next week or two so that you guys, if you want to, can make your cats a shirt for Christmas. And sort of the last bit of garment sewing I have is I want to make another pair of yoga pants. Um, I'm going to use the same pattern as I did last time, and that's Simplicity 8212. I'm going to see if I can't eliminate the side seam um, that goes on the outer portion of the pants, just because I think it, I was looking at a lot of my ready-to-wear pants, and most of them only have an inseam and no outer seam. So I'm going to try to, to modify this pattern to, to be like that. And I'm going to make it, this is actually I want to say this is Ponty, and I got it from Joann's, but it has a ton of recovery to it. So I'm thinking it'll make a really good um, yoga pant. It's very, very warm. It has, like I said, a ton of recovery. There's a lot of elastane in there. So even though it's not a suggested fabric, I think it should still work. And it's this beautiful green color. And the reason I'm going to make this is because I cannot find yoga pants in this green color. Absolutely love green. It's one of my favorite colors. So even though, I, like I, I said that I wasn't going to make any more yoga pants because I found it was just as expensive as buying a pair. Um, so if it didn't really save me any money and I didn't enjoy doing it, then I wasn't going to make it. But because I cannot buy a green pair of yoga pants, I think I need to make this. And I think this would be a perfectly comfy thing to wear on Christmas morning. And then the last thing that I need to get to, I'm going to share this with you because it's a present for my mom. She already knows about it. It's not going to get done in time for Christmas. But, um, so I want to make another uh, necessary clutch wallet and a purse set to go together. Um, and I purchased this really cool sort of purple um, cork. 
This is, I believe it's cork and a fennel mixture. So it has a lot of interesting and cool texture to it. I use the same cork for my bag that I use all the time, except mine was in green. Um, Mom loves purple, so I thought it was very apropos to, to make her a purple cork one. And then to go along with it, I, I have all the pieces cut out already. I just haven't got around to sewing it. So to go with it, we have this sort of purple batik fabric. Um, I just like batiks. I think they have a lot of character and it gives you um, good, it, it's not a solid, but it gives you like a good color um, block without being a solid. So I think it has a lot of texture and interest to it. So I have this purple batik and then I thought it would be cool on the interior to do a shot of this sort of mossy green. I personally really like the combination of purple and green together. Um, so this mossy green is going to be like the interior of the purse. It's going to be like the um, pockets that are in there. And then for the necessary clutch wallet, it might be like the zipper pocket or the card slots are going to be in green. I, I can't remember how I cut it out. Um, cause I only had a fat quarter of it. So I, I tried to use it strategically. Um, so I got a lot of bang for my buck with only using a fat quarter of that green batik. So hopefully I get this done. Uh, I made a couple of wallets and purses in, in rapid su succession and I just, uh, I just haven't made anything since. Like I cut everything out and then I just never finished the purse. So I need to do that. I need to get it off of my shelf because looking at it is depressing me. I hate having things pile up. I am definitely one of those people um, in my work life who like to get everything done immediately. I don't want to sit on anything. I want it cleared and ready and done. I don't want to think about it. So the fact that this has been sitting on my sewing shelf cut out for oh since may so like six months now uh is astronomical so i need to get it done i'm gonna finish it in 2018 it's gonna get done hope you guys are excited about what i'm sewing let me know what you think about it and i will see you guys next time bye <laughs>